In your last album, A Miracle, I understood that you honor women, but do you honor someone or something else in particular? Well, we honor music. I guess we do we honor something or something else in particular? I guess we honor everything, life. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's also about creation, which a woman gives, you know, has the ability to create life, as well as the creation of music, and uh, so it's, it encompasses more than just, you know, honoring a female, but creation in general and yeah, the female ability to manifest that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, what connection your last album has compared to the other? Well, we did a lot of things. The, the female lead vocals is a very big thing in the music that's very different than any other album. Having uh, Judy Mowat, Marcia Griffiths from Bob Marley's camp, as well as Sharita and Kim, very different. Harmonic. Chord structures are very different on this album. Uh, we've done some things, uh, up-tempo kind of ska things we haven't done before. There's quite quite a lot. I mean, that's one of the things as Ground Nation we try to do. A different, different approach to each album and each song. So there's a lot on the album that's very different than anything we've done before. And about women, can you tell us more about your collaboration with Judy Mo Wout and Marcy Griffiths? Yeah, for sure. Um, we, uh, as soon as we knew that the female was going to be the focus, uh, we had talked about who it would be. Marcia Griffiths is one of the first ones. Marcia Griffiths is a longtime singer before Bob Marley's time, but of course she was a big part of the I3s, Bob Marley's harmony vocals. And we see Marcia Griffiths on the road. She's very busy touring, playing festivals, so she knows Groundation. She likes what we do a lot, so we knew we wanted to work with her. I called her up from, from Jamaica. I said, Marcia, I want to do some work in the studio. She said, oh yes, Papa, I'm ready, I'm ready. So she was ready. Um, and then the song A Miracle, when we wrote it, uh, was originally for Judy Mowat. Uh, Judy hadn't been singing reggae music for a long time, 20, 25 years. After Bob Marley died, she went back to the church, did gospel music. So really, this was us hoping we could work with her. And she said yes, and we came into the studio and did that. Miracle, which is so Judy Moa that ooh yeah is that's some of the great Judy Moa that I love from those roots reggae times. So it was very special and uh, like the songs were meant for them and it manifested itself and beautiful. We're happy to have them. Okay, um, well I know I know it's kind of old now, but I really really like your song Silver Tongue Show from Airborne Rates. It's so heavy and it deeply moves me. Can you just say a few words about this song? Sure. Uh, yeah, that's one of uh, the styles where we kind of have a bunch of different sections in the song, so it kind of goes through a lot uh, lyrically. Um, but it's talking about a lot of leaders of the world and people who mislead people by saying a certain thing or, you know, playing with what they promise people as a silver tongue show. Um, and uh, they try to claim things like to talk about Marcus Garvey and these leaders in the past and they say they're gonna take up the banner of equal rights for people but it's just a joke all those presidents they never really do the best thing for their people so that's the silver tongue show is the fact of having children affects on your way of thinking or composing for me it's just more inspiration No, uh, yeah, you know, having kids is uh, it's part of your life. You know, like I was saying earlier, as, as we grow and evolve as humans, it's a part of the music. You know, music is a reflection of your life. So, yeah, it would definitely affect your, uh, who you are, which reflects the music you're making and the experience you have. Mm -hmm. Did you find anywhere in the world a place where you could spend the rest of your life just chilling? Wow. Probably not me, I'm not really a chilling person. <laughs> Many places are great in the world, but I like to keep on moving and seeing what's next. We've, uh, we've been really fortunate. We've gone to some beautiful places. Uh, I mean, yeah, you know, uh, our life is, we're on the move all the time. So it's hard to imagine being anywhere for the rest of our life. <laughs>
But uh, you know, France has been really great to us, and um, the culture here and the people here have been so supportive, as well as Brazil, as well as Hawaii, as you know, many, many places actually you start to think about it. And it's, so many people are so supportive of the music, and you know, we learn a little bit from each culture and listen to the local music and incorporate that into our own lives. So for us, it's the whole world, the earth is a cool place to hang out and show for the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. No, it's good. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you Pleasure so much. Pleasure to meet you, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna be born again, yeah. Great karma, loser. Hey, Michael, this back, man. I got the...